A few years ago, ICC held a conference on persecution. It was actually, if our memory was focused on North Korea. And Francis Chan was one of the speakers at our conference. And he told this story that's really stuck with me. And it was about some South Korean Christians. They go into Afghanistan during the war uh, as medical missionaries. And they're captured by the Taliban. And uh, basically, they tell the world, they tell the Korean government, we're going to kill these people one by one until you pay us a big ransom. And so you can imagine the stress uh, these believers were living under, where every day uh, you're on death row and you might be, this might be the day that I'm going to get shot in the head and I'm going to go see my maker. So just think about that. So big surprise, two of the brothers started to fight. But it's not what you think, because the two brothers were fighting over who should die first. And the first one was an older brother, and he says, I'm the oldest brother, and uh, I should die first uh, because I've lived more of my life. And the other brother says, no, but I'm a, I'm a pastor, so I, it's my duty. I have to die for my sheep. I must be the example. And they argue back and forth, and the pastor wins. And his name was Pastor Bae hyung -gyu. I may be torturing that, I apologize if I am. And he was with Samuel Church, but he was the first to die. So the Christians are eventually released. They go back to South Korea, they go back to Seoul. Months later, they get back together. And you can imagine what is the topic of conversation. It is, of course, uh, that time in captivity, but again, not what you think. Because what they're talking about, what dominates the conversation is the fact that they all miss terribly uh, the time that they had in captivity. Now, on the one hand, that doesn't make sense, does it? Because you can imagine, like we talked about, they're, every day they're waking up thinking this may be the day I get shot in the head. Um, and all they can think about during this time is release and, and trying to escape, right? This is us as human beings are under this kind of stress. And yet they miss those days, and why? Because the closeness, the dependency they had on Jesus, they were so close to him. So that is a really cool, that's a really profound story, uh, but it's so much more because it reveals something really, really deep about us as human beings. And it's all human beings. And if I had to sum it up, I'd say it like this. It shows that we are all toasters. Now, for most of you, that probably sounds ridiculous. I know some of you know where I'm going with this, and I'm gonna explain here. So we are all machines. We have been designed by God. And a toaster is designed to run on electricity, isn't it? And that's the same with human beings. We're designed uh, to run on a spiritual current, and yet most of us uh, either don't have that. Either, either we haven't come to Christ and we don't have uh, God's Spirit flowing through us, or even as a Christian, we have the Spirit, but we're not really plugged in the wall. We live life as our own. Now, those Koreans, under extreme stress, they came to the, the quick realization that they did not have the power to deal with life uh, in that situation. There is no way, and most people, you're going to be on the edge of a breakdown. Uh, and so what did they do? They said, I don't have the resources to deal, and so I must get with God, and I'm going to hang on to Him with everything I've got. Now, honestly, that most of the time is our real situation. We don't have the resources to deal with life, but we get by in normal times. We only feel this in, in times of extreme stress, but really it's the reality all the time. We need his power, we need his energy to flow through us, and yet most of the time we sit like a toaster, uh, sitting on the counter unplugged. Even though we have the potential, the current is there waiting. We just don't plug ourselves in because we don't absolutely have to. Because of all the things we're chasing, of all the things we're doing, there's only one thing that really satisfies us, and that is that current and when it flows through us, and that's when we truly come alive. That's why the Koreans missed those days in captivity. I hope this story is helpful to you, and if it is, I only have one question for you, and that is this. What does this mean for your life? God bless.